Back in the day, some of these overnight celebrities would have been called one hit wonders, but in today's age of the internet, the majority of them have capitalized on viral attention and even built a new career path for themselves. Today on the show, we'll be taking a look back at all the people that became famous overnight. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Coming to number 10, Alana Thompson. Alana first rose to fame as a child beauty pageant contestant on the TLC show called Toddlers and Tiaras. Both her and her mother June captivated audiences with their boisterous personalities. After Alana had outshined the rest of the kids on that that show though, she was given her very own reality TV series called Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. This entire family with Alana at the helm became overnight sensations. Right away they were doing big interviews with the press and even were parodied on South Park. This early success led to many more opportunities for the family such as June getting her own series called Mama June from Not to Hot and Alana getting the chance to appear on Dancing with the Stars in 2018. Coming number 9, Salt Bay. Nusrat, a Turkish chef and food entertainer, earned the nickname Salt Bay after a video of him seasoning a steak went viral back in January of 2017. He became Salt Bay after viewers thoroughly enjoyed the way that he sprinkled salt onto every dish. Due to this massive level of exposure, Nurset became a celebrity chef of sorts. Massive celebrities and politicians from around the world all clamored for a chance to be served by the infamous Salt Bay. His fame grew so much that he even opened up his own chain of high-end restaurants in New York, London, and LA. While speaking with the press, he said that he became a butcher at 14 years old when his parents could no longer afford to send him to school, which is where his signature sprinkling technique came from. He goes on to say, That move at the end came automatically. I did not do that to show off, it is just my signature. You can think of it is a kind of final touch for a painting. It was a final touch to the meat. I was blessing the meat. Coming number eight, Jeremy Meeks. Talk about a turnaround when it comes to public opinion. This man was once a former member of the Crips Street Gang and rose to prominence after his arrest in 2014 during a gang sweep operation called Ceasefire in Stockton, California. Where the police made a mistake though was when they posted his mugshot to Facebook. Within 24 hours, his photo had garnered more than 15,000 likes and 3,700 comments, mostly from women who were enthralled with his looks. The following day, BuzzFeed ran an article recognizing his mugshot as a meme and the reason for a new hashtag called Felon Crush Friday. The following year, photographer and talent agent Jim Jordan confirmed that he had signed Meeks to a modeling contract. Meeks would then serve 13 months of his sentence and then was released from prison on March 8th, 2016, after which he was ordered to reside in a transitional housing facility for a few weeks. But regardless, he had already set himself up for success once he became a free man. In at number 7, Cindy Kimberly. Sometimes all it takes to achieve overnight success is by having an already established celebrity recognize you or post about you. Justin Bieber did just this for Cindy Kimberly, who had 17 years old went from babysitting for less than $3 an hour to suddenly being signed by a modeling agency. And all it took was Bieber making this post and saying, oh my god, who is this? After she was identified, Cindy was then signed to Uno Models and the rest of her social media exploded in popularity as well. In response to her overnight fame, Kimberly said, when I saw Justin was asking about me, I got very emotional because I've been a fan of his for more than six years. It seems like a fairy tale. A friend of mine often used to joke that one day I'd be one of the girls he talked about and I didn't believe her. My life changed positively since Justin appeared in my life. In at number 6, Alex from Target. Sometimes you can find fame in the most unlikely of places. For Alex Lee, he was simply a 16 year old kid working at Target in Texas. Lee had only been on the job for 3 months when a customer snapped a photo of him and began gushing about how cute they thought he was on Twitter. That same day, his manager approached him and showed him the post and within a few hours while he was still working, his Twitter account had gone from 140 to over 5,000 followers. Soon he would have half a million followers on Twitter and after appearing on the Ellen Show, he cleared a million followers easily. Since this moment of viral attention though, Alex started appearing on all kinds of interview shows out in Los Angeles, but the unfortunate thing was that this really began to interrupt with his high school classes. So much though that he had to show up to court to tell them why he had been absent, and then from there he would even have to be homeschooled and take classes online. This allowed him to continue to tour for about a month or so with other creators, but unfortunately as time went on, Alex didn't care much for social media, and thus did not want to invest any more time into it. He revealed in 2018 that he was going to be starting school again to become an EMT, and since that last post he has seemingly deleted all of his social media. In number 5, Susan Boyle. Scottish singer Susan Boyle first appeared as a contestant on the third season of Britain's Got Talent in 2009. As she stepped out onto the stage, you could see the audience already beginning to write her off as someone that could probably not sing. However, when she began to sing I Dreamed a Dream from Les Miserables, the audience was in absolute shock. By the end of it, she received a standing ovation and thanks to the internet, viral fame as well. During an interview, Susan said that her mother had always encouraged her to go for her dreams, but it would take until she was in her 40s to actually go for it. Her debut studio album was released in November of 2009 and became the UK's best-selling debut album of all time. Her video on YouTube also garnered nearly 2.5 million views in the first 72 hours, and within a week of her performance, it had been viewed more than 66 million times. As of 2021, she has sold 19 million records and is worth an estimated $30 million. Coming number 4, Rebecca Black. Rebecca Black rose to fame overnight for all of the wrong reasons, but regardless, fame is fame. Unlike Susan Boyle, Rebecca was relentlessly mocked for her music video titled Friday that went viral on YouTube and other social media sites. Friday was blasted by critics who all called it the worst song ever. At the time, Rebecca was only 13 years old 
old when her parents decided to pay for a music video that she and her friends could do together. In just three months, the music video had been viewed over a hundred million times, and suddenly she became famous for being bad at singing. What's terrible is that so many people bullied this young teen to the point where she almost gave up on her dreams of singing altogether. However, she finished her education, started taking vocal lessons, and has been using this once negative attention to do more work in entertainment. On January 29, 2021, she released a song called Girlfriend and announced her second EP, which was released on June 16, 2021. Coming number three, Justin Bieber. Bieber is now one of the most famous musicians on the planet, but his life was not always this way. Now he has a net worth of over $265 million, and it all happened in the blink of an eye. Justin was born in Stratford, Ontario, and came from a very normal family, meaning that no one in his family had really any inside connections to the entertainment industry. In 2008, Bieber's mom decided to film him performing a cover of Chris Brown's song called With You. They uploaded it to YouTube, and immediately people were blown away by the fact that a 13-year-old boy could sing like that. Soon after, talent agent Scooter Braun stumbled across his YouTube video by accident and immediately reached out. Within a short amount of time, he was being signed and gaining notoriety for the release of his EP titled My World. He also would soon become the first artist to have seven songs from his debut record all chart on the Billboard Hot 100. Pretty great stuff for a little kid from Stratford, Ontario. Coming number two, Danielle Brigoli. Danielle Brigoli launched her own career in September of 2016 when she appeared on an episode of Dr. Phil and coined the phrase, catch me outside, how about that? This immediately became a viral meme and catchphrase that still permeates its way into culture to this very day. The video became one of Dr. Phil's most watched clips on their channel, having amassed more than 46 million views. From there, she transitioned into the persona of Bad Baby and launched what has been a pretty successful music career as well. Her first single made it to number 77 on the Billboard Hot 100, but for someone that had no connections in this world and just started, I'd say that's a pretty great achievement. The single did eventually peak at number one on Spotify's viral US and global charts with over 5 million streams. Plus, she signed a contract with Atlantic Records for a multi-million dollar multi-album deal. So needless to say, she's leveraged this fame into something bigger than her wildest imagination. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Bella Porch. Currently, Bella Porch has just over 80 million followers and has garnered 1.8 billion likes on her TikTok page. Recently, she even celebrated the video that made her go viral overnight a year ago. In the post, she says, One year ago today, be yourself and don't care what other people think and try new things. Thank you guys for changing my life. She became an online sensation simply by lip syncing on a zoomed in video of her rhythmically bouncing her head. About two and a half months after the video was posted, it had over 41 million likes and half a billion views. Previously, she had served in the United States Navy, but now she has a budding and successful music career as well as her own line of merch. All thanks to the TikTok algorithm and her unwillingness to allow hateful comments to perturb her from following her dreams. Perturb. I need to say that word more often. But guys, that has been the top 10 people that became famous overnight. And before we get out of here, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled Kanye West, The Baby, Marilyn Manson, Donna Show Causes Outrage. Darklush4002 says, you gotta give Kanye one thing, he knows how to make an entrance. I mean, yeah, I'll give him that. Leon Hoffer says, just goes to show there is no correlation between money and intelligence. Oh, we knew that, Leon, we knew that. But thank you for reminding us. D Black says, this is a creepy circus now. <laughs> yeah, it did look like a creepy circus. Yeah. Maybe uh, Tim Burton will do the, the Kanye West cult film. That'd be interesting. Derek TV says, controversy sells. It certainly does, my friend. It certainly does. Chrisella Blue says, it's almost like a satanic cult coming together. <laughs> That's what a lot of people were saying. They're like, is this? Is Kanye starting a cult? Is that what's going down here? No, it's all controversy for promotion. Trust me. If he was starting a cult, I would know about it. But guys, this is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers. And until next time, stay classy, YouTube. Or at least try.